Let's talk about home inspections. Do you really need one? And what are they really for? Please make sure to hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That would mean a lot to me. Make sure to go check out some of my other recent videos. My most recent one is talking about why house prices have not come down despite interest rates heading up. Make sure to go check that out. Hi everybody, my name is Jesse with the Loader Real Estate Group at EXP Realty here with another weekly video filling you in on all things real estate related in the greater Edmonton area with a special focus on the city of Leduc. But today I'm gonna to talk about a little bit, something a little bit more general. We're gonna talk about home inspections. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is should you get one? All right, and then the second thing I wanna talk about is like what are they really for? Because there is a narrative and a perception that is happening in our market that has really escalated over the last few years that I'm noticing that I don't like and I don't agree with. So first of all, here we go. Should you get a home inspection? Listen, a home inspection, depending on the type of house you're buying, is gonna cost you between four and 600 bucks for the most part. Sometimes it can get a little bit higher than that if you're buying an eight bridge and there's septic systems and wells and things like that to inspect in addition to the house. But for your average place in town, around 500, 550 bucks maybe is what it's gonna cost you. So in my opinion, 500 bucks for peace of mind, if everything goes great on a home inspection, is well worth it. So I always think that you need a home inspection. Now, a home inspection is really great for a couple different reasons. One, it gives you another opportunity to go through the house because remember, when you're out searching for homes, you're looking at a whole bunch at a time, you know, you're maybe only in there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour at the most. And a lot of times when you're seeing a lot of homes at the same time, things can kind of get blurred together and you can't really remember what was in what. So you decide to write an offer. This is the one we like. Great, it gets accepted. Now it's subject to a home inspection. So it gives you another opportunity to go there. It, make, it gives you an opportunity to make sure your furniture is going to fit, to measure the spaces for the appliances, like whatever, all those little things you need to do. You can really go through it thoroughly. You're going to be sitting there for a couple of hours uh, if you decide to attend a home inspection. So it's First of all, it's really another uh, another great opportunity to go through the home and go through the home thoroughly. Second reason why I think home inspections are so great, you know, I kind of touched on it earlier, is peace of mind. Like most home inspections, um, by the time that you've uh, gone through all these houses, by the time you're listening to your real estate agent's advice, uh, and by the time you've identified this is the one that you want, most likely there's not going to be any major issues with that home because you know, you're getting an education through the home buying process and you're seeing what could be potential red flags. You're seeing what looks really good. So for the most part, there's not going to be any huge major issues. Now, sometimes things do come up that even the seller isn't aware of, right? But I want to touch on that more in a second. So um, it's really great because you can go through the house, get another look at it, and you get that peace of mind that the house you're buying isn't falling down, doesn't have huge foundation issues and water issues and and things like that. So I think you should get a home inspection on every single transaction, even brand new homes. Now I have a, I'm doing a completely separate video on brand new construction and I really tie into why I think home inspections are good for new construction homes. But uh, the timeline of when you get a home inspection on a brand new home might be slightly different. So make sure to go watch out for that video here uh, in the near future. So the second thing I want to talk about is what is a home inspection really for? All right, because I think that there is a growing, you know, misled perception out there that a home inspection is simply a negotiating tool. And I don't like it. I don't like it for when I'm representing buyers and I don't like it when I'm representing sellers. And here's why, okay? So again, you're going out, you're looking for homes, you look at 20 homes, you decide to buy one, you write an offer, you negotiate in good faith, Everybody agrees it's $400,000. Great, fantastic. You've agreed to 400, the seller has agreed to 400. Now it's subject to financing, likely, and it's subject to a home inspection. So you submit all your documents to your bank, you get the financing ball kind of rolling in the background. That's all fine and good. You book a home inspection, you do the home inspection. And now after that, what I'm seeing is a lot of buyers, and I think the real problem here is buyers, realtors, are using this as an opportunity to renegotiate. So every single home inspection has deficiencies. Every single home out there, no matter the age, has deficiencies. So what a home inspection is, is here is the list of deficiencies. 
are you still comfortable at this price? All right, now listen, I wanna set that aside for a minute and go and, and just talk about if there are legitimate issues with the home, like there's electrical issues, there's active leaking in the home somewhere, the sump pump is broken and it's not pumping anymore and it's about to be spring, you know, things like that where, Again, the seller may not even be aware of that. There's some issues with the electrical panel, whatever. There are things that come up that the seller isn't even aware of that do need to be remedied. And that's fine. That, that's all stuff that we can negotiate. It's usually fairly minor. We're not talking about thousands of dollars worth of work. We're usually talking about a few hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks, maybe 2000 bucks worth of stuff that kind of crops up that no one knew about. That's different. That's fine. That's legitimate. That's real. And you should pay attention to those items. What I'm talking about more is that age related maintenance and age related deficiencies in homes that buyers are now going back and renegotiating after the fact. So again, you've agreed to $400,000. When you showed up at the house, you could see that this 29 year old home has shingles that are all curled up and ready to go and needs to be replaced. A good realtor will point that out just so that you're aware. You get downstairs, furnace is original, water tanks original, windows are original. Okay, we know all this already. And if the home is reasonably priced compared to other similar homes, this is what you know going into negotiating the deal. It's likely priced to reflect that already in the first place. If it's not, you negotiate it down because it's not priced appropriately for the work that is required. You can't, you can't, you can't clearly see that the roof needs to be replaced then get a home inspection, let the home inspector tell you the roof is beyond its life expectancy and then want $10,000 off after the home inspection. That happens all the time and it shouldn't. Now I'm not blaming the public out there. They're not home inspectors. Most of them are contractors. Now realtors aren't either, but realtors are taught this and realtors should know the difference between a roof that needs to replace and a roof that has still has some life left on it. Little things like that. This is where the buyer's realtor comes into effect. And I think it's it's a real problem in our industry that they are not either educated themselves or they're not educating their clients properly to ensure that the deal just gets done. In my opinion, it comes down to ego and wanting to win a negotiating battle more than actually just finding a deal where everybody's happy. All right, so age-related maintenance, age-related home deficiencies, these are things that as long as the home is priced to reflect that in the first place, and if it's not you negotiated early, those are things that should not be negotiated after a home inspection. Again, legitimate things crop up. Yeah, fair game, no, no, no questions asked. So why am I doing a video on this? Well, it's, it's a frustrating thing when you're representing a seller and you have buyers, realtors that come back to you and say, we want X, Y, and Z because of, of this. So we want this much money off, or we want you to fix this. And the, the items that they're bringing up are just absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. I'll give you a quick example. I'm selling a house south side of Edmonton. It's just under $800,000. It's it's a 11 year old home. The buyers want the sellers to replace a $3,000 washing machine, like a, like a washing machine in the laundry room because it smells mildewy. Yeah. Like these are the things that buyers are now coming up with. And I've noticed a trend of it getting worse. So in my opinion, it's not the public. They, they don't they don't know. They don't know what they should be doing, what they should be doing. It's the professional's job to manage expectations in the beginning. And I don't think that's happening a lot. So a home inspection is an education about the home that you were buying, right? Here's the things that need to be maintained. Here's your deficiency list. Are they age appropriate or not? Yes. Are they? Okay, great. Move on. Deal with them yourself. And here's all the things that you need to do. Here's all the things you need to keep your eye on. Here's some things you need to take care of right away. Here's some things that you don't necessarily need to do right away, but you need to watch throughout the years. Here's things you need to check on annually. Here's things you need to check on quarterly, whatever it is. That's what a home inspection really is for. It's a nice education about the home you're buying to ensure that you can maintain it to the best of your ability moving forward. All right, so just something to keep in mind. I think unfortunately, a lot of days now, realtors are trained on selling Sunset and, and million dollar listings and, and, they're, and they're trained on a lot of these uh, TV shows out there that really are not even close to really how things work. And uh, I think it's hurting our industry. I really do. So I hope that 
how the realtors see this. <laughs> and uh, I hope they agree with me. And if, and if they're one of the ones who use this as a negotiating tactic, maybe they'll rethink it. I think that everybody wants the same thing in a real estate transaction. You've got four different parties involved, right? You've got uh, the sellers and their realtor. You've got the buyers and their realtor. Everybody wants the exact same thing, right? Now, everybody can argue over value to some degree, and that's fine. And that's where negotiating comes in. I just think you should do it in good faith and not uh, use a home inspection as a negotiating tool. Use it as an educational opportunity about the property that you're buying. So anyways, I'll get off my soapbox. There's my rant for the week. Home inspections, a critical component to the real estate process. They just need to be used in the right way. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please make sure to go check out some of my other videos and we'll see you next time.